cruel animal transports don't have to happen. Across Europe, farmers, activists and greens have been fighting for change. And today, change is close. Together, we can improve the lives of billions of animals. These animals are just some of the billion animals transported across Europe each year. Some of them are just being moved to a new farm somewhere far from home, but most of them are on their way to be slaughtered in awful conditions on roads for days at a time. We believe these animals deserve better. Animal transport can take days on trucks that are often overcrowded when it's too hot and there's not enough water. From one end of Europe to the other, and sometimes even further than that. And often, these animals are only a few weeks old and their immune systems are still too weak to be transported in such horrible conditions. So why are animals being transported like this? Of course, it's all about the money. It's often cheaper to breed animals in one country and slaughter them in another. And over the years, animal slaughter has been centralized to just a few big slaughterhouses, meaning longer and longer journeys to get there. The European Union has supported this system and there's a lot of government subsidies going to factory farms. This is the result of a bad politic choice and it doesn't have to be that way. Animal defenders and Green Party politicians want to change this system. That is why we need a maximum journey time of eight hours, better transport conditions, a ban on transporting of unweaned animals, a ban on exporting live animals to countries outside of Europe, where EU animal welfare law cannot be properly enforced, and tougher controls to make sure the rules are actually enforced. Our current industrial farming system ensures animal suffering. It also destroys our lands and water, increases greenhouse gas emissions and bankrupts small farmers. This industrialized farming system is good for big business, but it's bad for citizens, for the environment and for animals. Better laws and regulations that improve transport conditions for the animals are the first steps towards dismantling that system. But the big industrial farming conglomerates will fight back against anything that endangers their profits. This is why we need you to speak up. Together, we can improve the lives of billions of animals and millions of farmers. Join us.